So we're the Coding Confessions group and I'm Colin. We had also Dave, Irini and Patricia working with us. If we can have the next slide. So the problem we were trying to tackle is that everyone who develops software at some point has written some software that's badly written, it cuts corners and it makes mistakes that might actually lead to quite serious implications for people doing research with the software. And that many people don't want to talk about this because imposter syndrome makes them feel less worthy about it. Okay, the next slide. So we want to try and change this culture by um, creating a culture where people feel happy to disclose their mistakes and that we want to try and document those mistakes so the entire community can benefit from the lessons that we have learned and people have disclosed. So uh, we created a website uh, called Coding Confessions, um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, this is uh, a way to summarize um, all the different ways that people can do coding confessions. So one way is to just write a blog post uh, as exemplified here. People can also do this anonymously. So we have already set up a Google form um, where people can answer these kind of questions and we can um, share uh, that blog post on people's behalf. Uh, there's also a possibility to run um, a coding confessions event at a uh, yeah, at a conference. So there's different options to do that. Uh, the most basic is just have a notice board with post-its where people can anonymously share their coding sins. Um, or you can have a lightning talks round where people uh, talk about their uh, coding errors or even have a confessions booth with uh, someone who confesses and someone who listens and hopefully absolves the person of their coding sins. Um, so these are the different options. And then we have someone talk about how we did this. Thanks very much. So the code that we've written has been published under Creative Commons license. It's publicly available on GitHub and the link is here. Perhaps someone uh, from the team can post it in the chat. I'm not sure if that's possible here. Uh, and we've used Jekyll for the website uh, so it's a Jekyll repository and so it automates into the GitHub uh, actions pipeline and publishes automatically to this website. Uh, so people can collaborate with us um, if we want to grow the community uh, to, to just edit the repository and make changes to the website as well. Uh, so I think Patricia is going to move on to our work allocation. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so how we split this is that it was really like a, a very collaborative process, uh, checking in on the uh, ideas and the issues and the things that we had to do. Um, Colin provided the, the main website text uh, because he suggested the topic and most of the information when we kicked off was in his head that he wrote down. Uh, Dave did all the magic behind the beautiful looking web page and um, Irini actually uh, was our first volunteer um, and she had to confess something that she wrote up in, into our first blog post and then based on that created the Google form. Um, I started working on a, a code of conduct uh, to go along with um, uh, the, the uh, instructions to, to run the event to make this really a, a safe environment where people feel comfortable uh, to confess and then played around with the lo logo and uh, we had great plans to actually then um, also get our Google form answers automatically into GitHub as issues um, but I only got halfway through the instructions there so that's our outstanding issue and uh, Irini plans for the future um, we actually want to keep this going. So if you have confessions, please submit them. Um, and uh, we have uh, plans to that uh, after the Easter break, actually ask the wider community, um, like the RSC Slack channel to start con confessing to us um, to get some more uh, uh, examples in. And we actually want to, to run this uh, at a face-to-face -face event, potentially collaborations workshop next year. Uh, an upcoming RSE conference or when we're all back allowed back to the office, maybe someone wants to try that locally in uh, in their group first. Um, and based on that, like, you know, rework the, the instructions and the material that we provide so far. Um, and that's us. Thank you. <laughs>